Hi guys, so it's been a million years since I've done a video. Obviously, I kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Um, and I'm gross and sweaty right now. We just came from a game, so I was outside in like the 90 degree weather. So sorry that I haven't made a video in a while. I've been super, super busy. Life kind of just came on in a big s splurt. Um, I didn't even finish all of my gymnastics um, Olympics commentary. So congratulations to... Lori Hernandez and Simone Biles for winning silver and bronze respectively on the beam and congratulations to Simone and Allie for winning gold and silver respectively on the beam. Um, Sane Wavers, I was so happy to see her on the podium. Um, if one of the American girls wasn't able to win, I'm glad that she did. I actually had predicted that she would be um, get the silver medal and she ended up winning. Congratulations. So exciting. Really difficult gymnastics there on the beam. Um, so that was great. It was great to see um, Kata Ponor in the final. She didn't place, obviously, but it was great to see her there. Um, maybe the last time, you know, we see, see her perform. Um, floor final was great. Unfortunately, Julia Steingruber had some major mistakes, but, um, excuse me, um, the Olympics went really well. Simone got to carry the um, flag in the closing ceremonies, which was great. One of the things that people have asked me to do is to predict um, some of the gymnasts who will emerge next quad to be um, the the leaders of next quad and some of the gymnasts who may be going to 2020 in at uh, Tokyo in 2020. Um, for me, it's difficult because I'm not super familiar with a lot of the juniors um, in other places aside from the United States, so I'm not sure who's going to emerge in terms of internationally. Um, I do think Flavia Sareva is still on the up and up. I don't think she, <clears throat> I actually don't think she peaked this year. So I think she, um, Flavia Sareva from Brazil, I think she will stick around next quad and I think she might be one of the um, people to beat. She looked really, really impressive. Um, I also think that um, Malenkova from Russia will probably stick around. I, I feel like I didn't see too much of her. Um, but she certainly has a lot of potential um, and is a talented gymnast, so I would imagine that um, she would continue to, to keep going into the next quad. In terms of the United States, I think at least initially, um, the the leader or the, um, you know, the person that's going to be the, the one to beat will be um, Jordan Childs, I think just at least initially. Um, Jordan Childs is currently a junior. She'll be a senior next year. She throws an Aminar. Sorry, that's Roxy. Um, she throws an Aminar on the vault already. It's a, it's a beautiful Aminar as well. She's a clean gymnast. She's more kind of in the realm of a, um, like a Simone Biles or a Sean Johnson more so than like a, you know, Nasia Lucan, Kyla Ross type. She's a little bit more about power and clean lines and things like that, but not so much of the, um, grace and you know legato form that you see from the nastias of the world so i think jordan um will emerge i think that Lori hernandez will continue to be a force to be reckoned with i think i mean she's going to take some time off we know she's doing dancing with the stars which is exciting um but i think she'll come back and i think she'll be super strong um little morgan heard i actually like her a lot i watched her um i went to the classic back in june may june something like that um and June and um she to me looks like she has a lot of promise it looks like she really wants to kind of be around and really wants to be there and has the drive so I think Morgan Hearn might be another one um that we're talking about come next quad um but internationally like I said and I'm trying to even think I'm not sure how many juniors current juniors I even really know I think that probably um, Larissa Yordaki may stick around just kind of out of principle because she, you know, this was a rough quad for her with the, or at least the year had been rough for her with the, the injury and whatnot um, and the Romanian team not making the Olympics. So I think that was, you know, tough for her. So I think she might stick around a little bit just out of principle, like I said. Um, but in terms of juniors, I'm not really sure in the rest of the world. But I think United States will continue to be a force to be reckoned with, um, regardless of who the new, sorry, regardless of who the new national team coordinator is. 
Um, I think that the talent is there. I hope that if the system um, maintains or, or keeps going how it is now, um, I think the United States will continue to be the team to beat. So let me know, um, and definitely let me know if you guys are familiar with some of the juniors, like the international juniors. Let me know who you think will be um, on top next quad, who you think you might, um, we might be seeing in Tokyo 2020. Um, let me know your thoughts about the Olympics in general. I know I'm like mad late to the game, but um, let me know what you think. And until next time, happy gymnastics.